Thanks for coming back. It's official. Women can now serve in combat roles in the military. Is this good for women? Is this good for our country? Jim, what do you think? Yeah, you know, I have mixed feelings on this. Um, I think that I think there are some women that are really going to appreciate the opportunity, the equality of being able to do this. Um, I, in my family, I kind of skipped a generation. My dad was 65 when I was born. He was born in 1899. So, um, so you know, I was brought up in a very traditional household, and um, chivalry is not dead. Uh, so, you know, I guess. It's not my bag, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to dictate to the next generation what they should or shouldn't do in terms of, of their service to the country. You know, I was in the military in the, in the latter 70s to, to, to early 80s, and, you know, that's when we, we actually had women uh, in the military back then. Uh, we had women Marines who actually came in. Um, uh, I was at Fort McLean, Alabama, we were, and, but they trained not only MPs there, but they trained correctional officers there. They were called 95 Charlies, we were 95 Bravos if you were an MP. So there were a lot of women at that time who were coming in, I guess, because of the, the need for uh, women's correctional facilities within the service itself or something, I don't mm -hmm. know, but um, there were a lot of them that, that actually came in uh, during basic. Now when I shipped overseas and I was over in Germany, uh, in our in, in my air defense artillery unit, there were no women. I mean, it was all men. Um, but you know, I don't. Again, I all the women that I knew of in the military back then uh, that were that I ever was associated with were all training to be correctional officers and not actually military police people. So, well, and this isn't just the military. I mean, they've been allowed in the military for a long period of time. Yeah. This is. Specialized units. This right. is allowed. Seals. Special ops, seals, seals, whatever. Seals. Um, I guess my concern is: is is there a plan to lower any of the standards um, in the seals in in um, special ops? I don't think there should be. This is the elite. This, it, you know, most men cannot make it into these. What groups. do they have? Like a ninety percent fail rate or something? Mm -hmm. So, will standards be lowered if if you're bringing women in that usually don't have the same muscle mass? Um, will they be able to do the same job? Yeah, we were, uh, um, when I was working in a DOC back in, uh, in the early 80s, when I got out of the service, we had, um, we had one woman at the training center. Um, and she was up front usually in the admin building, those kind of areas. She worked control center, she worked visiting room sometimes. Um, she actually wasn't down on the tiers early on in the 80s. Uh, and, and then as, as, as that mindset changed within the Division of Corrections uh, in the state of Maryland, then, then we got to see more women on the tiers and, and things like that. Um, yeah, and one of the things, uh, and there was a conversation on Facebook about this very issue, and, and I was relating my experience in the Division of Corrections. Uh, you know, I was raised uh, by a cop dad uh, who, who, who treated my mom like a queen, and he taught me all about chivalry. And he, you know, uh, you know, my wife enjoys the fact that I opened the door for her, for her to get in and out of the car. Uh, we walk down the street. I had, she walks on the inside of the street, and, you know, I walk along the curb. And, and that's the way I was raised. And I was always raised to watch out for women. I had two sisters I had to keep my eyes on when I was growing up because they were a year older than me, and they were always in trouble. Uh, so, you know, I had, uh, uh, when, when, when in the Division of Corrections, when there was an, uh, an incident where we had a don, riot gear or we were extracting an inmate from the cell or doing something like that. I tried, and usually, and I was in charge of a lot of that, I tried to make sure that the group that I had did not consist of a woman. And it wasn't because she couldn't do the job because, again, as I, as I said in my post, I knew a lot of women who could kick my butt. I mean, there was no doubt about it. So, you know, but it was a fact of how I was raised that I personally felt that I would have to look out for them at the same time, I'm looking out for me, and that would not allow me to do my job effectively. Not that they couldn't handle themselves, because I'm sure they could. It had nothing to do with that. It was the way that I was raised. And um, someone made a comment about that, about, 
you know, how it was very Trump-like. Right. Uh, and, 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 and probably a lot of women would take offense to that nowadays. Mm -hmm. I, and and yeah. they probably would, you know what? And I, and, and I, but I will never apologize no, you for, you know, no. believing in chivalry and believing that that's how you should treat but the thing, women. But the thing is, in the military, and I, I was in the military for a very significant number of years. It started during the American Revolution. Yeah, yeah it, seems, it seems that way sometimes. <laughs> um, you can compartmentalize your attitude when you're in uniform or on duty and your personal life. So if you still want that silvery, you can get that in your personal life. It just goes away when, when you're on duty outside of military protocols. And there's a certain amount of that built into military protocols to begin with. In terms of uh, women being capable of taking and receiving fire, I certainly saw women take and receive fire with, in, in, in enemy situations with no problems whatsoever, at least no more so than any oh, man yeah. who'd been through yeah. similar training. Uh, I, I frankly have no problems with it at all. Uh, assuming, of course, standards aren't lowered in any way, shape, and or form, and I don't, I don't really see them being being lowered like that. But what is the country, how does the country react to the visual of I don't, a I don't, woman prisoner of war? I don't think it'll make a darn bit of difference. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I, I got to tell you, not, that, not would, that would bug me. It, 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 it would, it, for your generation, it would. For my generation, it might. But for younger generations, I don't think it's going to make a oh, darn bit of difference. I don't think it will either. I think that, that we've evolved to a point where there, 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 there isn't that Mindset. No, it'll it'll, it'll be a service member prisoner of war. Yeah. What we'll see or is that a good thing? I believe that. I don't, I don't know, know if it's a good thing or not, that. but it I mean, is the way society I'm, is. I'm significantly younger than most of you guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I honestly think that that significantly we my generation and, and generations um, that are younger will be concerned about that when that when that first woman is taken prisoner, knowing what can happen to her Absolutely. while she is, is a prisoner, I don't think most people think of when there's a man taken in that same situation. I got, I got news for you. Women have been taken prisoners by the enemy long before this, and, yeah. and society has, has survived. I, I just don't see I, it creating, I get that, but creating any large we've not, we've not condoned that action as a country. We've not put them in that harm's way as oh, yes, a country. Oh, yes, we have. We most certainly have. Not, not at this level. Oh. Not at this level, not on special ops and that type of thing. I mean, in my mind, Doesn't you know. Mean, how, how, well, if you're talking about somebody who's taken prisoner, what difference does it make how they're taken prisoner? If somebody's a nurse and a hospital gets overrun, sure. if, somebody, if somebody is sure. is engaged in a, a, a covert intelligence Vietnam. operation and they get taken, if somebody's flying a helicopter in a support role and gets shot down, and what difference does it make? It really doesn't make any difference. Well, well Carl's Carl, got a good point there. It looks like Carl got the last word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice change. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, the economy is showing continued signs of recovery. The one Hagerstown company is contemplating layoffs. We're back in three minutes.